Hey everybody, welcome back to a brand new video. My name is Brittany, for those of you who are new. As you can tell, we're gonna be doing this makeup look. And if you're curious to find out how I created my crown, go ahead and look at my TikTok. It's linked down below, so check out my TikTok. If you didn't follow me, girl, what are you doing? What are you doing? I absolutely love this so much. I love when it's like the other little those. I love creating looks and being super creative and yes, so excited this is a little bit different as you can tell throughout the video it was like a trial and error honestly i had like no plan but after i was just like whatever so this is what i did obviously if you want to customize it how you want if you want to take out this black you totally can i always say please do it to your liking you don't have to go all crazy but this is just to give you some inspo again everything that i use in this video is going to be in the description box today and you can always throw a pleather leather jacket for this look some cute halloween earrings and just like a black tee or a black tank top or a black turtleneck something to kind of give it a little bit more but this is can be just like your outfit so without further ado let's get into the video all right you're gonna start by priming the face of course and then moving on to your favorite foundation Then you're gonna use a black gel eyeliner or if you have a black eyeshadow, whichever one you have on hand. You're going to use that and start pressing that onto the inner half of your eyelid. Next, we're gonna take the Cultura Ultra Gel Matte Liner from Melt Cosmetics. If you don't have this, do not stress out. Trust me, just get a white base or you can use your concealer. Totally up to you. Don't stress out if you don't have this one. And then to find a red pigment, this company, Millionaria by Melody, she is on Instagram and on TikTok. That's where I find, found her through, but I love this eyeshadow palette. It's the Radioactive palette. And she is Latina owned, so I'll link her down below if in case y'all want to get some stuff because, girl, her eyeliners are bomb.com okay so we're gonna press that up on top and I thought I was gonna leave the eyes at this point but then you'll kind of see how this video kind of transitions into that So this is the point that I realized I was like, okay, I'm going to drag down the black eyeliner because I wanted it to be more of a oval shape, like of my orbital bone, you know, kind of having that eyeball socket, if you will. So I just dragged the black gel liner and then I added black eyeshadow on top. And then here I am just mixing that same red color called infrared from the radioactive palette. So I don't have any type of gel base or I'm sorry eyeliner base or anything like that I'm just literally putting on the pigment right onto my face and it didn't stain me I mean I only had this for about 20-30 minutes after I did this look so it didn't stain I don't know how long or if it will stain if it's on more than like an hour I guess but then I wanted to do a transition shade on my brow bone of course I'm kind of taking the color beam and putting that on the brow bone as you can tell it meshes really well with this eyeshadow look so then you're going to want to drag up the black eyeshadow just to make it look like a skeleton-esque 
type of eyebrow, if you will, like, you know, kind of having that skeleton, skeleton, skeleton type of vibe, feel, look. I don't know what I'm trying to say, to be honest. Then you're going to do your nose. That's a calavera kind of feel. This is really hard to do. I'm messed up so many times and it's like the easiest thing. Then I'm taking another eyeshadow palette. I just wanted to kind of outline the basically the you know the jaw line of this and you'll see how quickly I took this off. This is, this is NYX's new Smooth Whip in the color Chocolate Mousse, and this formula is amazing. I wish I would have picked up more, but the color selections were a lot of pinky tones, and pinks are not my vibe, so ended up really liking this one. This is a really nice color. And then we're going to add some black liner, and we're going to start drawing in the teeth. This is the moment I decided I was like, okay, that bottom part is coming off. So I quickly took that off and just kind of made it the shape of my like cheekbone, if you will. I mean, it's not as symmetrical, but that's the beauty of makeup, honestly. You're just playing with art and being so creative. You can take it off and put it back on. So here I am putting on some black eyeliner to make it a little bit more defined. And then I went ahead and did a little bit on my forehead just to kind of give me a little bit of a more angrier, quote unquote, type of skeleton. And I got this box from Shein. It was very inexpensive. I'm adding some lash glue to attach the rhinestones onto the entire eyebrow. Well, not eyebrow. Eye. Just kind of like the socket of the eye. Kind of was tedious. Took a little bit more time. And then here I'm just basically making little squiggles throughout my face. And I added a couple more rhinestones right on the center. And then on my chin area, I just did three kind of like flower petals. And filled it in with black, ash black eyeshadow. This is pretty much the entire outfit, I guess if you will. All black outfit would look so good with this. And I found my earrings at Walmart for $5. And that's basically the end of this look. Thank you so much for watching. If you made it all the way to the end of this video, I really appreciate your time. And I'll see you in the next one. Doodles.